Hello, my sweet, sweet Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just gonna light this up and clear the energy here. I'm feeling, ooh, I put it out, ooh. Clearing the energy, put out the light. Hmm, didn't I have that message for someone? Don't, don't put out the light when you're clearing your energy. Who was that? Cancer, I think. I don't know who I said that to. You might want to go look at Cancer's reading. Yeah, but when you need when you're clearing something out, you don't have to dim your light. Yeah, it was Cancer. Okay, so you might wherever Cancer is in your chart might be important to you. Okay, let's try this again here, Sagittarius. If at first you don't succeed, right? And I feel like that's a message here for you. Let's get into your reading. I feel beautiful energy. I feel revitalized. I feel a little bit of worry here creeping in, but for the most part, it feels very positive. So let's get one of these cards here for you, Sagittarius. I'm feeling this one. Skywriting, the fates. Did we have that last time? I wanna take a little peek at the book uh, and see what it says. I'm not gonna read it out, but I just wanna know get a little deeper here with you today. That which we cannot change, non-judgment. It says now is the moment to, to leap in, whether it be a heart connection, a call to creativity or a new identity in your work area or any other life with all your heart and soul. Success is written in the stars. Yeah, I feel like this is a big time. This is a big moment for you here. It's fate, okay? I feel like you've you've done some divination yourself around this. Okay, maybe you have tarot cards yourself, uh, but you've been told. I heard you've been told the message. You've been given the message already, okay, that this is the time for you. So let's get um, a Celtic cross out here and see what we're talking about. You don't have to be a Sagittarius sun sign to have this resonate, of course. This is a general message, so, you know, it might not be your message or it might not resonate at this time for you. Um, I think I am going to do an extended, so there'll be a link in the box below. And thank you for all your support, all your likes and your shares and your subscriptions. They really do help me out. Uh, yeah, so I appreciate that very much. Oh, okay, so a card just fell here. Pitcher plant. Andy, why are you reading so much? I don't know, but let me take a look at this. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Sagittarius. Deceit, illusion, oof. The carnivorous pitcher plant gives off a scent that is enticing to insects. Oh yeah, I've read this before. But however, this is a trap. Once an insect has fallen inside the plant's chamber, it is eaten alive with the plant's digestive juices. Beware of temptations for things may not be as great as they appear. Okay, here's the thing with this Sagittarius. I don't feel like you're being deceived. Uh, maybe you are, like maybe you have been, I don't know. But in this reading, I don't feel like that's the message because the first time that I read that and I saw this card, like when I got the deck, I thought, well, that's not really fair <laughs> to the pitcher plant. Like it would, you know, that's how it gets its nutrients. That's how, it survives, you know, it's not intentionally trapping or deceiving anybody. So what I'm getting with this message here is that someone's going to accuse you, I feel like, uh, or tell you you've been deceitful or paint you in a bad light in some kind of way because you are moving in a new direction, because you are heading towards your success, you're following the path of fate, okay? And, the, and I feel like somebody's going to be taken by surprise or they're not going to be happy about it. They're going to feel like you've you know, deceived them. But I want you to know that uh, it's all a matter of perspective, okay? Um, I'm not condoning deception in any way here. No. What do I want to say, spirit? You're acting for your highest self. You know, you want the, what's best for your highest self, not your ego, for your highest self. And so when you act for your highest self, you're acting for the greater good of all because that's who and what your highest self is connected to, connected to the all mind, right? All of us. Um, so as long as you act 
on your ambitions from that place of following your soul's path for your spiritual development and it's not a sense it's not being ego driven like i deserve better in life than this shit you know which could i guess be a soul thing but <laughs> you know like mm, as long as you're not doing anything to spite anybody then i don't feel like you're being deceptive okay and i I do feel like someone's going to try to trip you up and try to make you feel bad for following your path. Just be careful, Sagittarius, about how you're viewing your own actions, why you're making the decisions you're making. Okay, when when we, I don't know who we is, but when we have a Sagittarius energy in high vibration, it's like super wise, uh, super humanitarian, almost... Yeah, it's like a warmth, it's like a warm Aquarian energy almost. I don't know how to explain that. It's like wanting good for everybody, okay? Even almost at the point of self-sacrifice, okay? But, you know, that's in the, at least in how I'm feeling it now, in the higher vibration. But when Sagittarius is in the lower vibration, it's really self-centered, right? It's really me, me, me. And uh, maybe not as much as a lower Leo vibration, but it's reckless, it's more reckless, okay? And so wherever you have Sagittarius in that chart, you just gotta be conscious of that polarity, right? And and what moves you to one side or the other, um, you know, because shit happens in life that will push us, you know, into the shadow side of our sign or whatever, right? And we'll start acting from there. So I just, I guess this is all being said to you because you just need to be careful about how you're perceiving yourself. It's not so much how you're acting because I feel like you're acting out of goodwill. It's more about your perception of your actions because I feel like someone's going to try to get you to feel bad. Long story short. <laughs> but Sagittarius, you like telling long stories, so. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see here. Wow, intensity there, intensity. Maybe that's that nervousness I was picking up on. Do we want this deck? Uh, I think this one's a little too harsh, actually. Where's this one? Here. Okay, let's get a, a Celtic cross out and see what's going on for Sagittarius. Okay, what's this? The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, you've been working hard on this. The Magician in Reverse. I feel like you're not really sharing your manifestations, okay? I feel like you didn't believe that whatever's about to happen was going to come true. No, the moon. You had a lot of doubts about this. A lot of fears. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, one, it's not your message. Could not be your message. Or two, it just hasn't come up yet for you. You know, and you could check back on this later if you want. Uh, but... There's something, whoever I'm talking to, you've been working on something and you'll know what this is, a new opportunity here. Big, shiny new opportunity, something tangible. You've put in a lot of work, whether that's spiritual, mental, uh, physical, like the energy is really flowing out of me. It's almost like an urgent feeling here because it's fate, right? It's time, you know, it's there, okay? Mm-hmm. You could have been working with someone here, helping you uh, build whatever it is you're building. Could be a Pisces, doesn't have to be. I feel like um, you're supported here. You have a lot more resources at your fingertips than you realize. Even if this is making a new love connection or something like that, I still feel like it's very supported here. I'm gonna put this deck away, it's giving me weird vibes. I don't know. <laughs> And this one. So there's something about like clearing, yeah, clearing things out, exactly. Clearing out noise, clearing out other energies that don't belong, okay? I feel like that's gonna be important to keep your focus here. So let's see what happened in the past. Death, page of wands in reverse with the seven of swords. Oh, shit. Someone did, somebody didn't admit to a truth, uh, what? Hold on. I was going to say somebody didn't admit to a truth, but it was like it turned, turned, churned, churned, okay? It turned into 
somebody didn't admit to a lie, which is, I don't, I don't know why we're uh, mincing words there, but maybe that's part of it. There was like a little bit of a word game, you know, it was like semantics. Yeah, somebody was lying, you know, by just um, omitting the truth, something like that, you know. I also feel like there was an ending um, that wasn't communicated because somebody was planning something kind of sneaky. And this could be you. Okay, this could be you. I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you have a little bit of a, like an exit strategy or an ex escape plan, okay? And then for others of you, you're just uh, going your way and other people are perceiving it like that. Either way, I feel as though the intention is good. Of course, there are going to be some Sagittariuses out there who are in like a lower vibration and being sneaky. You know, that's obviously a possibility in here. It's like when you do a general reading, seeing 1101 here, when you do a general reading, right, it's like you pick up on this main theme and you hope you're talking to the, to the higher vibe in Sagittarius or whoever that would take that theme and do well with it. And the cards will reflect that. But then the, the, you could also read it for the lower uh, vibration and how they'll take it. And I feel like you can't really totally separate those two out. I mean, everything's on a continuum. I don't know why I'm getting into all of this right now. But again, it's like that justification I feel like someone's gonna make you get into. And I don't think you should do what I'm doing. <laughs> don't start rambling like my Gemini moon is like don't start trying to justify why it is you're doing what you're doing or why it is what like what you're saying I mean give the reason but don't feel like you need to defend yourself okay this is one of those readings that's like uh like you're gonna watch me as an example of either what not to do or what to do. <laughs> okay. What did you learn from the past? Eight of Wands. Well, it's time to get the hell out of Dodge or wherever you are. Like, look at that energy is just pushing you. It's pushing you. You cannot escape this drive to go. It's it's like, how could anybody want to hold you back from this? Okay, I'm pulling out three cards for your strength here. And I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Magician in Reverse. Sagittarius, you have new love. You either have it now or it's coming. There's a new connection here. And it's one you've worked on. It's something brand new to you. It feels different to you. It's nothing like before. It, you didn't have to um, really do much for it to happen here. I think you're realizing that when you release like control or you release expectation, not control, when you release expectation, things just kind of start coming towards you. When you work on what you want for yourself and not really what you want for someone else or for a union and you just concentrate on yourself, things flow towards you. Manifestations just happen. I, it's almost like this isn't even a manifestation. That's the message here. I feel like it's not even a manifestation. Exactly. It's a, it's fate. It's fate. Yeah. I don't know really what the difference is, but that's the message I'm getting. It's really cute. I like it. There could be a child involved here. It doesn't have to be, but there could be. Uh, or a future child. But it's cute. It's beautiful. I love it. I really do. So you, this is your strength, this con new connection. It's also your understanding. You're, you're learning uh, what makes a loving, solid connection free of manipulation. I heard in coercion. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more about, no, I don't want to know about that. Yeah, three of swords, exactly. I was going to go tell me about the coercion, but I don't think we need to know too much more about that here. I think we know. Nine of wands. We, we've given in reverse. We've given up on that. I don't know why I'm saying we, but 
I, and I keep emphasizing that there's a bunch of you, so know that you're not alone in this journey, okay? You're really not. I think you do know that. Uh, but besides the people that are immediately with you in the 3D, you have a team of people with you in the astral realms, okay? And your spirit guides, know that. Okay. Let's see what's coming up in the near future. The sun, and it's in reverse. Well, I'm actually seeing it like you're not running. See in the upright, it's like a running, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful image. But in the reverse, I'm seeing it as you're not running. I also see it like you're not leading from ego or you're getting rid of that. You're letting the sun go down on that. Is there a negative thing here though? You really have to be careful again about that. People getting upset with you, questioning you, questioning your motives. You know, as long as you're not hurting anyone, okay, intentionally or, you know, even non-intentionally, you know, as long as you're not like, and I mean hurting someone to the point where like abandoning a child or something like that, you know, that's what I mean. Or like, you know, God forbid, physically injuring someone, as long as you're not hurting someone like that. Um, then I feel like it's you need to hear that it's okay what you're doing. You But don't forget about the long term, okay? Think about how this is going to play out in the long term for people other than yourself, okay? Which I feel like you, you're good at thinking about that. But don't make people feel let, let you feel bad for whatever it is you want to do or whatever it is you're choosing when it comes to love, when it comes to your journey, because they could put a downer here on your life. They could put you back in that place of ego. Yeah, five of pentacles in rivers. Don't let them do that. I also feel like you're giving up a, some security. We said that last reading, like you're leaving a home base. Yeah, seven of cups to really explore what else is out there. You're kind of going into the great unknown, high priestess, but you're following your intuition here. It's actually really cool. So what else do we want to say, Spirit? To Sagittarius. Finding balance. Be gentle with yourself. So you're going off and finding balance here. And the seahorse I'm seeing is very balanced. Be gentle with yourself. And give me another one here. Love your dark side too. Stop and let it grow around you for a little bit. It is within reach. A release. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. What, yeah, okay, yes, I'm sensing. I got corrected. You're not thinking, you're sensing. Here's what I'm sensing with this. Love your dark side too. Stop and let it grow all around you. This is kind of what you did for a while. Is like you, you, you didn't go, right? Like you tried to let things kind of work out in the way they, you felt they needed to. And... A part of you is kind of kicking yourself in the ass for not doing this earlier. Okay, you might feel like you might feel like you missed out on a lot, or or something like that, or you lost something. But you need to realize that that was part of the journey too. Okay, it's fate. Remember the fate card. It was part of the journey too. So so don't abandon that part of yourself. Bring it along with you. All right, Sagittarius. I'm gonna go into the extended and find out how others are seeing you, an outside energy that's influencing all of this, uh, your hopes and your fears and the outcome and then whatever other messages need to come out. But let's close it out for those of you who are not coming along to the extended. We'll get one more oracle card. Oh yeah, we'll get a message from your guides actually. Whoa. <laughs> Ancestral wisdom. Woo. <laughs> We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. See, you're not alone. Your ancestors are with you. This is fate. You're following your ancestral path the way you should. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. 
Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. Have fun here at the bottom. It's time for you to receive some fun, to go out there and open your hands to what the universe wants to gift you and offer you. Okay, Sagittarius, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.